Hey, welcome in everybody. I'm going to do a little video for Steam, CMD, and ATS dedicated server. I struggled trying to get mine going, going through Steam itself, and it's still a pain in the butt. So, Steam CMD allows you to host it on a different computer. You don't have to have it running on yours all the time. So, if you want to learn how to do with Steam CMD on a different PC, here we go. First, go to the PC that you want to install the dedicated server on. We're going to go find a Steam CMD. If I could spell, so don't mind that. <laughs> First link should bring you to this 1.1 Windows. You click on it, the number one right here, you're going to, going to download it. Okay? Once that's done, just close out your Explorer. You don't really need it no more. You're going to go to your Downloads folder. You're going to find Steam CMD. I like to create on my desktop. I like to create the folder that I'm going to install the server in on there. I'm just going to drag it in over there and get rid of it here. Okay? Once we do that, hey, there we go. You're gonna have Steam CMD, the e or the zip file, extract it. Again, I like to extract it right inside the same folder. Once you have that extracted, go ahead and double click on that. You're gonna open it up and run it. Takes. About 45 seconds or so. It's going to extract everything from Steam CMD. Once that is done, I'm going to open up my cheat sheet over here. We're going to do a force install directory. Always want to do this first, right after you. Extract it. In fact, let's open up or create a new folder. I'm just going to call it ATS again. Double click it, open it up. We're going to need this in a second. So, force install. Oh, I lost. Lost connection, guys. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. So, force install. I lost my file again. Force install. This directory, or whatever you decide to put it in, just make sure you copy the whole thing. That's where we're going to install the ATS server. Okay? Once we do that, we're going to log in with Anonymous. Once we're logged in with Anonymous, we're going to do an app update with the file with the number 2239530. Hit enter. We're going to let that run. As you can see, it's starting to add some files in here. Give this a takes about a minute to install it. So we're going to sit here and let it go. Once that is done, just tap exit and get out of it. We're done with that for now. Now that that's installed, we're going to go Go into the ATS folder that you created on your desktop. Go into the other ATS that we just installed. Go into the bin folder. Win64. And here you're going to see the AM Trucks underscore server. Now, this is for people who do not 
own the game and you're doing let me rephrase that this is for people who are installing the steam cmd server on a machine that does not i repeat does not have american trucks already installed so this is a fresh computer does not have steam or it has steam sorry it's my wife's computer Shh, don't tell her it does not have american truck simulator installed so from here we go in and look in our documents folder we do not have american truck simulator we are going to double click that it's going to run its fun little packages things scripting whatever you're going to see american truck simulator show up pretty plain if you own the game you know that this is pretty full with all your profiles mods all kinds of jibber jabber junk but we don't have that here now i need to bring some files over because so I'll do that in a second actually let me let me back up a little bit once you've done that we need to go into the actual game on your computer and we need to create some files we're going to create a server config dot ssi a server package dot dat and a server packages dot sii okay those files are missing we need to get those files so in order to get those, we need to come to your game, whatever profile that you want with the mods that you want to run in your dedicated server, okay? Once you do that, you go into the dev control, okay? We're going to type in export server packages, export underscore server underscore packages. We're going to run it. Yours will take about a minute or two so your screen will, will freeze up a little bit don't freak out it will do its thing once you see it's successful back out of this we can back out of the game and then inside your desktop your pc inside your documents you will see server config server packages dot dat server packages dot s s s i i okay you want to copy those and hopefully you have access to your um other machine over here because then we want to paste those in there okay once we have those we want to go into the config file And inside here, this is where you're going to change your your information. This, you leave the server config alone. Do not touch that one. Your lobby name, name it whatever you want. Description, name it something. Welcome message, whatever. Password, it'll be blank. I would recommend you putting a password in there. Just It's your dedicated server, man. Don't let anybody in there. Plus, if you have special mods, if you've done your own skins, you don't want people in there. Just your friends or whatnot, okay? So, I recommend a password. Players, you cannot change still. Vehicles, players, spawns, you cannot change. If you want to do a port, different uh, virtual port, you can. I leave it. Same with the dedicated ports. You can um, you can change those. Also, be be mindful. You do need to go into your router and forward these ports, whatever you change them to, to this particular machine in your router. If you do not know how to forward ports, please look that up. Pause this and go check it out. Because I'm not going to go into that. It's a whole another ball game. Every router is different. I don't have time to go into that. So please make sure you know how to forward your ports and make sure they are forwarded before you start this game up. Everything else self-explanatory if you want it on make it true if you want it off make it false your moderator list say you want two moderators okay you you and your buddy that way you can change the time or whatever so we're going to make it two you're going to 
Copy moderator list. Paste it. Paste it. Okay. Bracket. Zero. Bracket. Colon. Theme ID. Bracket. One. Bracket. Colon. ID. Okay. Simple. If you want six, just change that to six, but go down the line. Always start with zero. Okay. Start with zero, Steam ID, one, ID, two, three, four, five. That will give you six mods. So we're going to put this back to zero because I don't need any mods on this right now. It's just a test. Okay, let's save it. We're going to close it. Go ahead and exit out of there. Now that we've got that, now we need some bat files to actually start the server up. Okay. Lost my other bat file. I gotta go get it. One sec. I got two of these, so give me just a second here. That's not where I want it, so pay no attention to that. We actually want it inside here. All right, so now, wherever your Steam CMD EXE is, that's where you want your bat file. So that way you can update Steam CMD every once in a while. Because you know, every once in a while, when the ATS updates, you're going to have to update um, the server as well. So create this. We're going to edit. And we're going to make it go to the folder that it's in. I'll put a description and everything down there. So don't worry. I will have this in there. But you'll make it whatever directory that you put it in. You want to make sure you change it to that directory, okay? That way you can run this file. Next, we're going to need a, basically to start your server up. Again, I'll put this in there. But this is going to your amtruckserver.exe file, which was back over here. Nope, not that one. So it was inside your desktop, ATS, ATS again, your bin, Win64, and there's your AM trucks. That's that's the directory that you want to put inside here. Okay. That's what you want there. Now that that's there, you save it. Of course. Then if you want to do a restart, which I'll put this in there as well. This one basically, if your server happens to crash or something something happens it will actually restart the server for you so you don't have to go back in and do it so again you're going to change this to whatever your folder is that you used wherever directory and make sure it's in there now that that's done let's go ahead and start the server and see what happens That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you the other one. So but never mind that one. I want you to run the server restart. As long as you get all this, you get no errors. I see no errors right here. You, if you had anything wrong, you'd see errors right here in the config file. There's nothing there. Here's all the mods that we're running. Everything looks, everything looks good. Okay, so now that that's running, we can minimize this. You, you, could, you can close all this if you really wanted to. Just make sure you leave this open. Okay, you don't have to keep it here. You can minimize it or whatever, but just make sure this stays up and running. Now that you've got that running, 
You can see everything's here. We're going to jump over to your actual game here. Refresh your list. Slowly but surely here. Come on. And there we go. You now see Papa Bear Trucking Dedicated Server. That's my name. That's what I created it as. Got all my mods that we run in our company. So it's here. That's all you got to do. If you feel like this helped you guys out, you can subscribe. But to be honest, I don't make a whole lot of videos. I just wanted to make this to help some people out because I know this has been a pain in the butt. There's not a whole lot of documentation out there and SCS kind of they put one out is couldn't quite follow it very well. They didn't tell you how to do the Steam CMD side of things. So there you go. And you see I'm already joined into it. I got a couple people in here already. They're already doing some runs. So you can see my moderators. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. If you want to follow me, I do do some streaming from now, from then again. From now, uh, blah, blah, whatever. It's getting late, getting tongue twisted here. But I do some streaming on Twitch, Mr. Pink underscore gaming. Come check me out. Until then, enjoy. If you got any issues, shoot me a message down below. And I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Or again, come find me on Twitch. All right. See you guys.